everyone, this is Lorraine. So today I want to talk to you all about my morning skincare routine. First of all, I have very oily skin, I have very acne prone skin. Um, I think that a lot of times those two things go hand in hand. And additionally, I have very sensitive skin. So I have to be very careful with the products I choose or my skin will break out. So my main concerns with my skin, I want to keep my oil production I want to keep it balanced. I do not want to strip my skin completely of its oils because when I try to strip my skin of its oils, the oils produce a lot harder and try to produce a lot harder and then your skin is left very greasy. Don't like to feel greasy. So I've learned that I want my skin to just be balanced. I want it to have that nice glow. So the oils help to keep that nice glow. Um, I want to completely stay away from having any kind of acne, which I've done. So I work with products that I know are going to make me break out and I keep my skin clean. Um, and then, because I've had acne in the past though, I want to get rid of any kind of damage that I've had because of the acne. Um, I like to pick my skin. You should never pick. If you can avoid it, avoid it at all costs. Um, but I like to pick my skin and I know it's bad. Don't do it. And I don't really do it anymore, but I did. And so I have little kind of acne scars. Most of them have gone away um, with you know, going to get microdermabrasions and things like that um, and using certain products, but I do have little acne scars just because I've picked my skin. And also when you pick your skin, you get a, sometimes little brown spots, which I developed as well. And those brown spots are a couple different reasons, but one of them is from picking. And when you pick your skin, you kind of damage the skin and then it leaves skin in like different colors and they look kind of like freckles. Um, which some of them are probably sun damage as well because you want to keep your skin as far out of the sun as you can. I live in Florida so it's very hard. Um, but those are my concerns. So I'm going to go through my products that I use. First of all, I use a cleanser. I, uh, you want, what you want to do is you want to cleanse, you want to tone, you want to hydrate, and you want to protect. So cleanse. Um, these are the two cleansers that I like, that I've been using. Um, most of the time I do use this Boschia Purifying Cleansing Gel, which is a soap-free cleanser. Um, and it says it, is, it cleans deep into the pores and it protects your natural moisture. Exactly what I want to do. And it's not harsh, it doesn't contain chemicals, it's not scented, it's just a nice cleansing product. So it gets rid of all that excess oil and it just keeps your skin clean. So I want to cleanse and this is a good one. This is also a good one because it goes with my other, my, other, my other products that I use, but I think I might actually like this one a little bit better. And this one is the Obagi C. It's a C cleansing gel with a vitamin C. Um, it's supposed to work with the other products that I'm going to show you because it's got the vitamin C, but I think it just kind of works as a base to clean off um, your skin and to, pre to prepare it for the other products. But I like both of these. Um, they're not harsh. They don't make me break out. Um, and they help jumpstart what I'm going to do next. So then I tone my skin. And the toner that I use is also the Obagi one. This is the Obagi Balancing C Balancing Toner. And it's specifically, specifically formulated to help balance the pH of normal to oily skin, increasing penetration of the C Clarifying Serum and the key Obagi CRX system ingredients. So it just, you want to, what I do is I take it open, I take a cotton ball and I pump it and I go over my skin lightly. People have a tendency to, when they use a toner, to want to use it a lot. Um, you just need a little bit. That's all you need is a little bit. So it's for a normal to oily skin, but it kind of just gets rid of any of that little excess oil production. So it's just the next step. And it also, because of what it is, it gets rid of, it helps to get rid of the brown spots. Then... I use this, which is the Obagi Professional C Serum. It's 20% vitamin C serum, and that's really the main product that I'm using that's getting rid of any brown spots that I've had. I've seen an incredible difference. If that is your main concern with your skin are little brown spots, I love this stuff because it does, you do see a huge difference. And it is a little oily, but it's not... Um, it doesn't make you feel greasy. It just kind of is a nice little oil cleanse, uh, oil serum. So um, I take the little dropper that it comes with, and I dip it in there, and I take about 10 drops in my hand, and then I rub it, and I wipe it all over my face and on my neck. And then I let that kind of dry in for a little bit, and then I move on to my Obagi C Exfoliating Day Lotion with Vitamin C. And this also... Um, 
what's it say? It gently exfoliates, which is good, and it um, accelerates the surface skin cell turnover while hydrating and protecting to promote brighter um, photolumens skin. It, it works. It works. It's great. I love this little skincare system. It's really gotten rid of all the little brown spots. I just really like it. Um, I also do use uh, the little eye cream, which is the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to brighten and depuff. I don't really get darkness under my eyes. Um, I really don't get puffiness under my eyes, um, but I do use this just for, you know, for fun. Just as a preventative, because I know that I didn't, these brown spots didn't just come. They like, well, they did just appear out of nowhere. They weren't like, it wasn't gradual. It was like they just appeared. So I might as well prevent everything while I can. Um, and then lastly, I protect my skin, my face and my neck um, with a sunscreen. So um, if I'm wearing makeup... I use this one, which is the Mederma Scar Cream Plus SPF, and it's got an SPF of 30. And I like this one because it is not only is it on my skin um, protecting it, but it's also getting rid of like little kind of scars. And so I really enjoy using this product as well. Um, I, I've seen a difference over time using it, and um, yeah, it's just good. Um, I. I don't use it when I'm not wearing makeup because it does have kind of a weird smell to it. Um, and you don't want to use the Mederma that's the gel. You want it to be the cream. Um, it's just much better. The gel one, your face would look really shiny. Um, and it might be good as a primer. It might be actually not a bad thing to try out. So maybe I will try that um, sometime in the future. But for now, this is the one I like. If I don't use, um, if I'm not wearing makeup that day, I use the Obagi Nuderm, which is a SPF 50, which because I'm wearing makeup, sometimes your skin is a little bit more protected. If I'm not wearing makeup, then this is a really good one. And then as far as my body and everything goes, that's a whole different subject. I use um, sunscreens and stuff on that too, but I really want to protect my skin and do what I think is best. In addition to my skincare routine, I do go to an esthetician every four weeks. I either get microdermabrasion, dermaplaning, or a light peel, like a, um, it's an enzyme peel, so it's just kind of really penetrating the skin, um, making your skin's cells turn over a little bit more quickly. Um, but I do that every four weeks, and that's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below. I would love to hear what you do um, as far as your skincare routine is concerned, and I will have my nighttime skincare routine very soon, so I will talk to you all very soon. Goodbye.